Hello everyone welcome back to Shahi Comics and Marvel Studios officially debuts the first Deadpool 3 trailer during the 2024 Super Bowl, teasing an epic fight, new villains and multiverse madness, and the first Deadpool 3 trailer, starring Ryan Reynolds as Wade Wilson and Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, has been released by Marvel Studios, giving a taste of the only 2024 Marvel Cinematic Universe movie, following the Hollywood strikes in 2023. The only Marvel movie to release in 2024 from Marvel Studios will be the Deadpool trilogy finale, however, the Phase 5 adventure is already being hyped up to be one of the biggest entries in the MCU, as Deadpool finally joins the Avengers-themed franchise, and after weeks of speculation, Reynolds and Marvel Studios have finally released the very first Deadpool 3 trailer during the 2024 Super Bowl, following numerous Deadpool 3 set photos. The trailer's debut was also confirmed once and for all that the film will officially be titled Deadpool and Wolverine, and Deadpool and Wolverine was directed by Sean Levy, who also co-wrote the script with Reynolds, Red Reese, Paul Wernick, and C.B. Wells. Levy had just the other day been very cryptic about whether a trailer for the new Deadpool movie would be arriving during the Super Bowl, and everything the Deadpool 3 trailer reveals about Deadpool and Wolverine. And one of the biggest elements of Deadpool and Wolverine is the major MCU tie-in, as the Time Variance Authority from Loki is what ties Wade's movie series to Marvel Studios' continuity. While none of the familiar TV members from Loki are featured, Matthew McFadden's mystery character is revealed to be an agent named Paradox. Although there is a character who goes by Paradox in Marvel Comics, Deadpool and Wolverine's version appears to be a brand new incarnation. And as Deadpool gets entangled with the TVA, Paradox offers him the opportunity to be a hero among the MCU's heroes, meaning the Avengers. Deadpool and Wolverine establishes that Wade is more than ready to join, going as far as dubbing himself the Marvel hero. The Deadpool and Wolverine trailer also makes it clear that the Fox Marvel Universe is, in one way or another, being brought to an end. Logan gets the spotlight in the final seconds of the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer as he approaches Wade but how he's back remains a mystery for now, and since this Deadpool and Wolverine trailer is labeled a teaser, there will likely be a full official trailer before the film's release this summer, however, with the footage now released, it's a great first look at Deadpool and Wolverine, setting up what will easily be one massive game changer for the MCU, with many surprises still in store, Deadpool and Wolverine is already off to a solid start with its marketing, and Deadpool 3 is the MCU's first R-rated film, and Deadpool and Wolverine is the only movie set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe to be released in theaters in 2024, which has only increased the fan anticipation for the movie. It also happens to be the first MCU film to be R-rated. Marvel Studios head Kevin Feige has previously explained how it was important for Deadpool 3 to carry over its mature rating from the previous installments which meant pivoting away from the PG-13 rating that most other MCU movies get, and that's our first R-rated film, Feige said of Deadpool 3 in 2023, per Entertainment Weekly, adding how remarkable it was to get Hugh Jackman back as Logan for the project, to have Hugh come back is incredible, for me, personally, that is where I started, I remember sitting behind the camera well behind the camera at his audition for X-Men, it was his first on-set audition and he flew up to Toronto to do a read with Anna Packin, for him, and for me, and I think for all of the fans of Marvel, it's unbelievable what has happened in those 23 years, it's very full circles having him come back in this new Deadpool film. And where does Deadpool 3 fit into the MCU, and Deadpool and its sequel were not part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, however, Deadpool 3 signifies the character's initial foray into the MCU's multiverse storyline in typically chaotic fashion. Director Levy has confirmed this transition, paving the way for more MCU adventures for Wade Wilson. The precise placement of this movie within the MCU timeline remains uncertain, though the post-credits scene in the Marvels, which appear to bring in characters from the X-Men universe, might offer some clues about the merging of these universes. And with the MCU evolving creatively and discussions about the return of the original Avengers, Deadpool's entrance into this universe opens up a range of new opportunities. This move grants the storytellers considerable creative freedom, possibly incorporating narrative elements from Loki, 
where the lead character is now fully in charge of controlling every branch of the multiverse, to enrich the plot and further the storyline. And what's Pyro doing in Deadpool and Wolverine? And Pyro appears in a single shot of the first Deadpool and Wolverine trailer, perching on a platform of some kind next to an armored soldier. I love this part, he says, almost growling, before the trailer cuts away. For right now, it's hard to guess what exactly his role in the story will be. Presumably, he'll be a villain once again, as he seems to be leading the mysterious crew of Wasteland combatants glimpsed in a couple of other shots. And one thing that does stand out is Pyro's outfit, which, while much more conservative, still evokes his comic book looks. The red on yellow color palette from the comics is muted here, but the effect comes through, and he wears a pair of goggles that will remind longtime fans of his various masks, and we'll have to wait and see just how big Pyro's role will ultimately be when Deadpool and Wolverine premieres in theaters on July 26th. Regardless, though, it's great to see Aaron Stanford back in the role. And we're in the end of the video now and another awesome video I will meet you again bye guys have a good day.